Hi everyone. We're gonna check out some things in Destin, Florida today. Thank you so much for coming along. And first coming from Fort Walton Beach, we're going across the Brooks Bridge, which is under construction. So this can cause some issues with traffic and the bridge will be under construction for some time, unfortunately. It's estimated for completion in fall of 2027. And because Fort Walton Beach is so close to Destin, it makes sense to take advantage of this beach town as well. And one super popular thing to do is the boardwalk. We're gonna go check it out. And the boardwalk has multiple restaurants and shops, plus great access to the beach. It's really just very nice. There's quite a large parking lot, but it can still get very busy. I love going to the Oasis shop because they have a coffee shop and really fun souvenirs. Their coffee shop has donuts too and treats and even some gluten-free and vegan options. It's a great little stop and just outside is a great view of the Gulf. It is just lovely. And I love that the boardwalk offers shade and picnic tables to get out of the sun. A lot of times you'll see kite flying here and of course beach volleyball. The beach is really wide and there are a lot of places to set up camp for the day. And there is that amazing water on the Gulf. It is so clear and calm. I love absolutely everything about it. There's a pier too. You can actually walk out on the pier for $2. All right, and heading over the bridge to Destin, on the left is where Crab Island is, and on the right by that large building is Harbor Walk. In Destin, we are stopping at the Destin Commons. Although there are great shops, it also has great places to eat, quick service, plus a food hall, there's sit-down restaurants, it's clean and it's just really nice. One great place is the fish bowl. This is bowling, arcade and food and drinks. It's decorated as if you're under the sea and just a neat little experience for everybody. A great idea if you need a little time out of the sun or an indoor activity if it rains on your vacation. They do have a farmer's market every last Sunday of every month, which is super popular. Next up, we're stopping at a few places along the coast to see more ocean. First up, along Scenic Highway 98, is the shores at Crystal Beach Park. This is a small park with a picnic shelter. It's limited to five or so parking spots, so if you're able to be dropped off or can walk from where you are staying, that is good. Otherwise, there are bathrooms here and the beach is really nice. Next up is the beach at Crab Shack, a very popular place to eat, and there's a bit more parking to enjoy the beach. Although, of course, even at peak times in the summer, this parking lot will be full, especially at dinner time.
I always enjoy Scenic Gulf Drive and this is a fun little spot to take a drive along the beach. It has a lot of views and um, there's some beautiful homes and some pull-offs where you can enjoy the beach. Next up along the Gulf is beach next to Pompano Joe's restaurant. There's a good amount of parking here as well and a beach that seems to go for miles and miles. And that will do it for today. I hope that you enjoyed. Please check out my other video for some more Dustin fun and I will see you soon.